Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and I just thought I'd show you one of the more interesting things I'm going to be trying today. This is short crust chicken pie. If you can hear a small squeaky sound, that's my new kitty cat. What do you want? You want to go back in the freezer? You liked the smell in there, didn't you? Okay, so, sure, she wasn't in the freezer. She ran in when I went to get the pies out. Yeah, you're not going in the freezer. No, I know there's meat in there, but you're not having any. So, ah, she's not going to leave me alone. You're going to have to put up with the noise, I'm afraid. Okay, shortcut chicken pies. Now, this is like a chicken pot pie, which reminds me I've got a cat squealing at me, and that's a classic line from uh, South Park from like 22 years ago. No, kitty, it's my pot pie. You know, so uh, I just thought that was funny. So I'm going to be reviewing these. They take a long time to cook. They are not like the pucker pies. This is an uncooked pie. So we're actually cooking this in the oven instead of warming it through. It takes 30 to 35 minutes on gas mark six. The filling will be very hot. 180 degrees for fan assisted oven, which is what I have. And mostly they come out really nice and they do genuinely seem to look like this. So. Let's go for it, have a look. I'll be doing it with some chips and we'll see what it ends up tasting like. Um, we'll return to the video once it is cooked. No kitty, bad kitty. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, they've puffed up. So there's two minutes still to go, but I'm worried about them burning, so. Whoa, steam. Go on, get off the camera lens. Damn it. Yeah, there we are. Well, here they are. They have risen up quite a bit. I've um, got to say, they actually look like they need a bit longer going back in. Okay, we're going in. One of the pies has sprung a leak, so Regardless of what's going on, it's time for them to come out. Well, as you can see there, the pie has sprung a leak. It has cooked. And yep, it has definitely sprung a leak. Can you see that boiling up out the top there? They do look pretty impressive though. Uh, there we go. I'll focus on them for a second whilst I go and turn the alarm off. As you can see, they smell wonderful, by the way. There's a very good, strong chicken smell coming from them which is exactly what you want. Let's get in there and uh, get them on some plates and then cut mine up and see what it tastes like. Mmm, I can't wait. They look amazing. Yeah, I've got the... Uh... It's a little bit clumsy of me, but it, it, it got the job done. Oh, it's right there. Put down a hot pan. Right. Let's use this little... Ah, the foil's already cold. Yeah, and the other one. Turning a pie out can often be difficult, especially when it's as swollen as this one. You notice they've started to go down. Now the heat's gone, so... Let me put the nice looking one aside for my wife and uh, let's devour the other one. Mm. Let's see what the insides look like and see what it tastes like. It smells wonderful. There's a very heavy chicken, um, chicken smell, chicken with gravy. Ooh, the pastry is crumbly and on the underside the pastry is Got crumbly on the outside but soggy on the inside because of the pie filling. Mmm. Mmm. That's more of a traditional chicken gravy. There's good solid bits of chicken in there. I think you can see those. And we've got some nice colourful peas and carrots. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm going to get the chips out, put the vegetables on, and finish my meal, but definitely got to say, these pies are amazing. And 
they are the bird's eye short crust pies this box here and they are quite chicken pies and they're, they're pretty yummy mm. that's it fully raw pie though they're not like the pucker pies which are already cooked these are completely raw and frozen and you are essentially cooking them completely from scratch mm. which i believe is adding to the flavor nice mm, definitely worth a look at thanks for watching please like and subscribe you've been watching bad food blog